Well, welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. My name is Keith, and in this video three of our lesson series on the Stream Deck Plus, we're gonna take a look at creating backgrounds using um, preset backgrounds, using um, backgrounds on the LCD screen, changing icons, and how do you do all that, as well as we will look at the update um, 6.0 for the Stream Deck and how that impacts on both the Stream Deck Plus as well as the XL I have here on my desk. So let's dive right in and let's look at the Stream Deck here plus on the screen. You can see that I have a background set and then I have the regular icons right here. We're gonna start with the icons and go ahead and bring up the software as well. Now, if you look, I can click on this icon and then down here I have a choice, I can hit plus and I can choose from all of these preset icons. And I also downloaded all of these packs. So I've got some um, photo icons right here. I can go back up here and hit After Effects icons. So you have all these icons that you can use, so you can use those presets. But if you click on the down arrow here, you have a set from file, um, you have a create a new icon, and you have an open street deck um, icon library. So let's just start with set from file. Now, if I go into my recent downloads, I have a folder here and I created all these, but just to demo one of these. Um, so we are actually on a color temperature button. So we're gonna use this color temperature icon I created. And there you can see, I now have an icon on both the Stream Deck as well as um, in the software right there. And so, both of those side on top of each other. And so what if I don't like that icon? I can just click right here and say reset to default. But what if I wanted to create that icon? Let's go ahead and go down here and create a new icon. This click right here and let's just get a closer up to this by going to this screen. We're gonna hit create a new icon and now this software is gonna open up and you might remember this software from my still image for this particular episode. So let's just kind of go back and recreate that um, color temperature icon. So I just clicked down here on this icon and then I wanted to create a background and you can see the layer is appearing right up here. Here's the bulb layer. Now I want to create a background layer. So we're just going to create the blue layer but we need to reorganize the order. So I'm going to pull the blue layer above the icon layer. That's where I get that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little T icon. That creates a font right there. I'm going to double click and then the little um, edit icon comes in there. So I'm going to backspace through what's here already. I'm going to leave the C. I'm going to type in color, cap, temp. And then what I want to do is I want to click on it again up here. And then I'm gonna size it inside here. Gonna hit save, go down here and open up, show in folder, and this is obviously for um, PC. Let's try that again, show in folder. And then my folder comes in here and then I can rename this color temp2. Hit enter, drag and drop that into my folder and then we will close this window and close this window as well. Get back in here to software. So now I will click on this icon right here, which activates it down here. Click the down arrow, set from file, and then I'm gonna choose color temperature two right here, the one we just created. And there you have an icon created inside um, Elgato software, and I can create all kinds of icons. What if I just want to create a clip of an icon. So let's click on here. Let's create new icon. Open this one more time. We're gonna click on the picture icon right here. And now it opens up my file. I will click on my logo right here, click open. And now I have created my logo icon. I can just simply save that. And again, I could retitle that. We'll close this again. Um, but I've already created that icon. Um, so let's just go ahead and add it. So I'm gonna go in here and set from file. It is right here. 
And if you want to see the one that I actually just created and downloaded, we'll go back one folder and it's right there. I already have one inside my icon folder. So I'm just going to use that one now. So there you have um, that icon is now added um, up there to that color temperature. It doesn't make much sense, but I just wanted to show you that you could create your own logo icon. So now let's switch over to the dials. The dials, you can't go down here and create. Um, you can create a background, which we'll look at in here in a second. But if you just want to add an icon, you need to create it by clicking on one of these buttons and then go down in here to create a new icon. Once that icon is created, yes, you can add that to a dial. So here's the brightness um, little icon here that you see right here on the LCD screen. So I'm going to click on this icon. I'm going to switch it, set from file, and I'm going to use my new brightness icon that I created using Elgato's creation software. And so now I've added that little tiny icon. I can now right click on the screen and set from file. And I can create a whole background from the screen. So we're going to do that. We're going to open up an image file and Let's just go into my desktop here. And I am going to grab a photo from my desktop. We'll use this shot of Ratso and pull it down so he's in the frame. Hit apply. And now I have Ratso as a background. I can right click and um, reset the default, or I can choose something else from the library. Let's just choose that, close it. And now I have a different background on there. So there's a close up of that background. Here's a close up in the software. And now we're gonna go in here and let's create some custom backgrounds. So now what I wanna do is I wanna right click in here. Um, we are going to reset default and now it's back like that. Now what I want to do is I want to um, create a new background for that particular icon. And so now I'm just going to do a background in that one section. We're going to do image from file. Um, let's go ahead and go into my desktop again here. Desktop. We'll go into this folder this time, and we're going to grab this Ratso image. Hit apply, and now it puts Ratso in the background. And if I wanted this to be a full size image of Ratso, then I can go to my desktop again, go to this other folder. Grab the bigger Ratso image and click apply. And now I have Ratso. So I can create a image in the background below each individual icon, or I can create a image clear across um, the whole screen just by simply going in here and saying um, set from file, um, image background, and now let's create something just a little bit more high tech. We'll grab a picture here out of my folder. And now I can actually put that kind of blurred pumpkin image in the background if I want to. So I can create custom images. I can right click and um, open background library and use some of the regular library um, backgrounds that are available. So if I want to use that background, that background, or that background, I can. And so I can change the icon on that background. I can change the individual still image behind each one of those features on the dials. I can even change the dial um, button itself. I can say set from file and go back into my downloads, open up this folder, and... Let's do this image right here. And now I have that image right here as well um, 
for that brightness button. And then I can reach up here and still control brightness right from the dial. So there's a lot of ability to change icons and um, reset them back to the original. I can also plus icon and create something from the pack. So if I don't like that brightness, I can go in here and choose something else, like maybe um, go to something like this and hit apply. And now I have that as a background on this button. I could also choose that background for the background on the LCD screen. So you can change the background on the LCD screen. You can change the individual icons. You can change the buttons. Um, so mainly the LCD screen is what you're going to be changing backgrounds to, background on each individual feature, as well as you can do the same thing for dials, um, stacks, as you do stacks on your LCD screen um, and your dials themselves. You can change the icon on the buttons. You can change um, and design your own icons in the Elgato um, design software. So really lots of different ways to be able to use um, the the LCD screen, the icons, the buttons, and um, really custom your Stream Deck Plus how you want it to be. Well, let's take a look at this update 6.0. We'll look at what uh, Elgato is saying you can do with the new Stream Deck Plus and the things that they're changing and features that they're adding. So just so you know, there is, again, on the page here as you look, uh, actually this page, as you look up here, you have the ability to check for um, button features right here and then dial features right here. And then some of these features you have to um, download, like here's the Wavelink. So let's just go over here real quickly to plugins. And if we type in up here Wave, then you have this ability to download the Wave plugin, and I have it right here, and we'll talk more about that in the next episode, but I wanted you to see that. But if you go up here under Discovery, you can discover lots of things about the Stream Decks, the Stream Deck Plus. So we're gonna click on this display right here. It says Stream Deck Plus Dial Actions, and you have two pages. You have this whole section right here that covers those new features. I'm just gonna highlight them. You have hotkeys. You have volume control. You have um, these different dial actions that are available, key actions and dial actions. You have the ability to use Wavelength and you can see some of the updates that they're doing on the Stream Deck, the regular Stream Decks with just buttons and the Stream Deck Plus can shine as well. So these are the different key actions that you can get on the dials which are represented right here. Um, you have dial actions from input and outputs, and you can push the button to change mixes, and we'll cover that in the next video. Um, you got the control center right here, so you can actually control um, the different lights and things like that and volumes now from your Stream Deck. Um, you go down here, you got Camera Hub, so Face Cam by Elgato, Face Cam Pro. You can now control it, and you can see, you can see over here in the dial actions that I have, um, dial stacks and brightness for systems. I can do multimedia and hotkeys in my system for my computer, Philips Hue, the control center for the Elgato lights. Um, you have volume control, which is a manual detection that you can drop in and then manually detect volumes. You have MIDI down here, and then you can also install Wavelength and some of these aren't in there by default. When you do the update, you do need to go over here into plugins. And let's just type in Wave, for example. That's the Wave. And I have it installed. That's why it appears over here. Let's go back to Discovery, back to plugins. Elgato Face Cam. You can install it as well. So make sure that you go through and read these documents under Discovery. So read these documents under Discovery so you know all of the different features that are available. And they're all through here, plus some videos.
to get you excited about those. And then if you click on this little Stream Deck Plus support page, you get all of this section where it talks to you about this volume control for Windows. Um, you have the camera hub for Facecam, Elgato. Um, you have the control center for your lights, Elgato lights. You have Wavelength, the ability to do input and output actions um, on the dials. Philip Hue section as well, a MIDI section. You have this WS Proxy section. And then you also have information about how you can make your own set of plugins for Stream Deck. And all of that's available in 6.0. We're going to be looking at some of those updates in the next video. So I do hope you will join me um, for that next video as we dive into the Waves plugin and how it integrates with the Stream Deck now. And you can control your live streams as well as what's integrated with the Stream Deck XL because we do have them side by side. Please join us every Tuesday at 4 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time for our live stream. And you can ring the bell on the page here and be invited to those because you'll be alerted when the live streams are ready to go live, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And we would appreciate if you hit the like button. Also, we do have some links below, so that helps support the channel. We appreciate you using those associate links in the description. I am Keith, this is Life Journey Production Studios, and I'll see you in the next video.